Dear users, in order to ensure that the tractor possesses good power performance, economical efficiency, reliable use and long service life, please use the machine with reference to the requirements mentioned in the instructions. Due to constant product upgrading, this may result in the actual product being somewhat different from that in specifications. Please be careful during use. Maintenance Instructions Taking a series of technical maintenance measures, such as cleaning, checking, lubricating, tightening, adjusting each part of the tractor, or replacing some parts on a regular basis, which is collectively called technical maintenance. In addition, sound technical maintenance may decelerate the technical deterioration of the parts, reduce failure and prolong service life, and ensure good working condition of the tractor. 2. Technical Maintenance Procedures Technical maintenance interval of the tractor is classified into technical maintenance per shift, 10 hours, every 50 H, every 200 H, every 400 H, every 800 H and every 1600 H as well as special winter maintenance and technical maintenance for long-term storage according to accumulated working hours. Technical maintenance per shift. Remove dust and oily dirt from the tractor. Check and tighten each external fastener of the tractor. Tighten loose fasteners, especially for tight nut on the front and rear wheel. Check the liquid level of engine oil pan, water tank, fuel tank, hydraulic steering tank, and hydraulic lifter. Make replacement in case of insufficiency when checking the oil level in the engine oil pan. Park the tractor on the level ground. Check it 15 minutes after the engine stops. Add lubricating grease according to Table 5-1 Maintenance in the operating instructions for the tractor. Check air pressure of front and rear tires. Charge air to the following parts as required in case of insufficient pressure. 4WD front drive sway axle. Rear wheel 120 to 150 kPa. 2WD front wheel 200 250 kPa. Rear wheel 120 to 150 kPa. Check whether the tractor is subject to air. Oil and water leakage. Remove any leakage, if any. Maintain the diesel engine according to the technical maintenance for routine shift and the operating and maintenance instructions for diesel engine. 2. Technical maintenance every 50 H. Complete all items for technical maintenance per shift. Add the lubricating grease to the following parts according to Table 5-1 Maintenance in the operating instructions for the tractor. Front axle pins leave. Front drive sway axle for four-wheel drive tractor. Front axle central sway pins leave. Check the oil level in oil bath air filter and remove dust. Check the fan V-shaped elastic belt and make adjustment if necessary. Check and adjust the free stroke of clutch and service brake pedal. Free stroke of clutch pedal 25 to 35 millimeters. Working stroke of brake pedal 100 to 130 millimeters. Maintain the oil filter of the lifter and clean the filter cartridge with diesel. Please be careful when you use it. Discharge accumulated water and foreign matters, according to requirements in operating and maintenance instructions for diesel engine. Maintain the diesel engine as per requirements for Class I technical maintenance. 3. Technical maintenance every 200 H. 
complete all items for technical maintenance every 50 h. Replace the lubricant in the diesel engine oil pan and clean the oil pan and filter screen. Replace the oil filter cartridge. Eliminate air after remove air filter. Clean air filter cartridge and change oil. Maintain the diesel engine according to requirements for Class 2 technical maintenance. Replace the diesel filter and spin on oil filter. 4. Technical maintenance every 400 h. Complete all items for technical maintenance every 200 h. Add the lubricating grease to the following parts according to Table 5-1 Maintenance in the operating instructions for the tractor. Front wheel. Clutch pedal hub. Brake pedal hub. Check and adjust the valve clearance. Nozzle pressure in atomization. Adjust if necessary. Replace the fuel filter cartridge. Replace the oil in the gearbox, rear axle, transfer case, front drive axle, hydraulic lifter inner oil. Check and adjust front wheel to 1 4 to 8 mm. Wipe the battery and check electricity quantity of storage battery. In case of normal charge and discharge, overhaul the storage battery and conduct external charging according to requirements in operating and maintenance instructions for diesel engine. Maintain the diesel engine as per requirements for Class 3 technical maintenance. 5. Technical maintenance every 800 h. Complete all items for technical maintenance every 400 h. Add the lubricating grease to the following parts according to Table 5-1 Maintenance in the operating instructions for the tractor. Remove the dust between water tank radiating pipes. Thoroughly wash the diesel engine cooling system. According to preliminary use conditions of the diesel engine, determine whether to remove the cylinder cover for overhaul and maintenance. Determine whether to conduct other maintenance operations. According to specified torque, tighten the cylinder bolt and sequence. Clean the fuel tank. According to operation conditions of hydraulic suspension system, determine whether to conduct adjustment in maintenance. Disassemble the engine for maintenance once. According to starting engine conditions, determine whether to disassemble the engine for inspection. After maintenance, install the complete set of engine for long-term commissioning. Check and adjust operation of each mechanism. 6. Technical maintenance every 1600 h. Complete all items for technical maintenance every 800 h. Clean and maintain the diesel engine cooling system. When replacing the central transmission lubricating oil for the front drive axle, Empty dirty oil from the plug A and retighten the plug A. Add lubricating oil from plug B to plug C. Check, adjust and maintain the starting motor. According to requirements in operating and maintenance instructions for diesel engine, maintain the diesel engine as per requirements for Class 3 technical maintenance. 7. Special Winter Technical Maintenance Select the winter lubricating oil and fuel. When the winter temperature is below zero of florin, use the anti-freezing liquid. Start the engine according to winter requirements. At the start of operation per shift, the discharge rate of storage battery shall not exceed 25%. Higher charge rate shall be constantly maintained. After operation, 
Park the tractor at the insulated windproof shed. 8. Technical maintenance for long-term storage. If the tractor storage does not exceed one month, and it is not longer than 100H after engine oil replacement, don't take special protective measures. If the tractor storage exceeds one month, conduct special technical maintenance for storage requirements. Please see the operating instructions for the tractor. One, maintenance of maintenance-free storage battery, status checking of storage battery, displaying through the observation hole, green full electricity, black low electricity, white basically no electricity. When the observation hole displays black, provide additional charging. When the observation hole shows white, replace the storage battery. Maintenance of storage battery. The storage battery shall be stored at the clean, dry and ventilated warehouse. With the temperate being, 0 to 40, of florin. Put down gently and avoid inversion during handling. Securely fasten the storage battery terminal and power connection, in order to avoid melting and corrosion during starting. Apply Vaseline on the wiring terminal. Check whether generator output voltage is up to standards on a regular basis. The voltage is 14.2A plus or minus 0.25V. 2. Inspection and maintenance of hydraulic steering tank. The hydraulic steering tank is arranged at the right side in the generator cover. Open the oil tank cover with dig stick and observe whether the dipstick is subject to oil trace. No oil trace. Indicate that the hydraulic steering tank has low oil level. Check and identify oil leakage causes. Add additional oil up to the intermediate marking of the dipstick, and then place it at the original place. Systematically check whether the hydraulic steering cylinder Oil pipe and connection are free of oil leakage, otherwise will cause inflexible steering. Clean or replace the filter screen in the oil tank. When checking the oil level, check whether lifting of the vent valve in the center of the oil tank cover, rivet shaped, is flexible. Clean if oil dirt causes impacts on lifting. 3. Maintenance of air filter Maintenance of oil bath air filter. Loosen the lock of wet air filter and remove the oil pan. Remove the filter cartridge and clean with gasoline or kerosene. Remove the dirty oil from the oil basin and clean the oil basin. Add clean diesel to the oil level of the oil basin. Use 15 with 40 and 10 with 40 engine oil in summer and winter, respectively. Check whether the sealed part is damaged. Replace with new filter cartridge, if any. Properly install the clean filter cartridge. Properly install and fix the oil basin. Check whether connection seal is reliable. For checking air intake system. Check whether the clamps of the air intake system and engine inlet pipe is tightened. Check whether all hoses are subject to cracks. The cracks will lead to system leakage or failure. If necessary, please replace it. 5. Adjustment of fan belt tension. Press the middle part of fan belt with thumb, with applied force of 29.4-49.0 and end. Sagging distance of 15A plus or minus 3 mm. In the event of non-compliance, make adjustment according to the following. Loosen the retaining nut from engine adjustment bracket. Move the engine outward to tension the belt. Retighten the retaining nut on engine adjustment bracket. 6. 
Checking oil quantity of the engine oil pan and oil replacement. Check the engine oil level. Maintenance interval every day or 10 hours after use. If the engine is at the on position before check, run the engine for 2 to 3 minutes at idle speed after starting. Wait for 2 to 3 minutes after shutdown so that the engine oil flows back to the oil pan. If the engine is at the off position before check, reduce the speed for idle operation for 2 to 3 minutes. Wait for 2 to 3 minutes after shutdown so that the engine oil flows back to the oil pan. Check the engine dig stick. Wipe. Reinsert and pull out the dig stick to observe the oil level. The safe use scope refers to the area with crossed lines marked. Don't start the tractor when the oil level is below the minimum marking. Add the engine oil with proper viscosity through oil filler according to the season. Replace engine oil and oil filter. Start the engine to heat the oil. After engine oil temperature reaches 50 florin minus 60 florin, shut down the engine. Unscrew the drain bolt to discharge the engine oil. Replace engine oil and oil filter simultaneously. Apply the lubricating oil on the sealing ring of new oil filter and install it. Tighten one half turn after tightening with hands. Tighten the drain bolt. Add the engine oil with proper viscosity through oil filler according to the season. Pull out the dig stick at the left front of engine oil pan. Check whether the oil level falls between upper and lower markings. If the oil level is below the lower marking, remove the oil filler from the timing gear cover of the engine to fill oil. Unscrew the drain plug at the lower part of the oil pan during oil replacement. Empty dirty oil and clean the oil pan, then refill oil. 7. Maintenance of front axle. Add the lubricating grease to pin sleeve. Front axle central sway pin sleeve. Ball joints at both ends of steering cylinder and tie rod joints according to the maintenance requirements. Check whether the tie rod ball pin nut and pin nut at both ends of oil cylinder is loose. 8. Maintenance of oil filter. The oil filter of the lifter is located at the lower right side of the engine. Conduct maintenance according to technical requirements in the following. Unscrew the lower part of the oil filter. Remove the mesh filter cartridge and clean with gasoline. If the filter cartridge is difficultly cleaned or damaged, replace with new filter cartridge. 9. Maintenance of transmission system. When checking the oil level, park the tractor on the level ground and stop the engine. Remove the dipstick from the lifter and check the oil level. If the oil level is below the lower marking on the dipstick, Replenish the transmission oil until the oil level falls between upper and lower markings on the dig stick. Measure the oil level 5 minutes after oil filling. Replace the lubricating oil. Remove the drain plug located at the bottom of transmission case. Empty dirty oil and clean with diesel. Then tighten the drain plug and refill oil. 10. Maintenance of lifter. Park the tractor on the level ground. Lower the lift arm to the lowest position and stop the engine. Remove the dipstick from the lifter and check the oil level. If the level is below the lower marking, replenish the oil till the level falls between the upper and lower markings. Remove the plug to empty dirty oil during hydraulic oil replacement. Refill oil as required. 11. Maintenance of fuel tank. Park the tractor on the level ground and stop the engine. Remove the drain plug located below the fuel tank. Remove accumulated dirt at the bottom of fuel tank. 
the oil tank is used for oil storage, water and precipitation. Clean and remove dirt on a regular basis during use. 12. Maintenance of engine cooling system. Boiled tap water or anti-freezing liquid could be taken as coolant for the engine. Validity of the anti-freezing liquid is 2 years or 1600 hour. Replace the anti-freezing liquid and flush the cooling system when beyond the validity period. Then refill anti-freezing liquid. Remove the radiator cap. Open the drain values on the radiator and cylinder to discharge the coolant. Flush the cooling system according to technical requirements. Close all drain valves. Add new coolant to the cooling system until the liquid level meets standard requirements. Check whether the water tank damping block is subject to aging. Immediately replace it, if any, to avoid affecting the service life of the water tank. 13. Cleaning of front cover mesh, side mesh, radiator and oil cooler. If the front mesh cover is blocked by foreign matters, immediately stop the tractor for cleaning. Use compressed air with pressure of 210 kPa, 2 bar, or above during cleaning, and ensure that there is no onlooker in the surrounding area. Wear protective equipment so as to avoid personal injury. Open the engine cover to whether the radiator is blocked by foreign matters. Carefully clean with the brush or high pressure air, if any. Conduct through cleaning if necessary. Clean from the rear of the radiator with high pressure air or water and straighten the bent radiating fin. 14. Checking whether the cooling system is subject to leakage. Maintenance interval 250H. Check bubbles at the bottom of the upper water tank and other parts possibly subject to coolant leakage. Check whether the spacer located at the thermostat housing is subject to coolant leakage. 15. Exhaust of fuel system. If the tractor is out of use for a long period, or the fuel system is removed for maintenance, Disconnect the oil pipe or remove the filter cartridge, and the oil tank is emptied. Air may enter into fuel lines. Air in the fuel system leads to difficulty in engine starting. Exhaust the fuel system in order to ensure normal operation of the engine and fill the oil tank with diesel in order to ensure that the oil circuit switch is closed. Loosen the bleed screw of fuel filter. Lift the fuel pump button B upward and downward until diesel flows from the bleed screw hole with no bubble. Loosen the bleed screw of fuel filter. Then loosen the bleed screw of fuel injection pump. Lift the buttons of fuel pump and hand pump upward and downward until diesel flows from the bleed screw with no bubble. Then loosen the bleed screw of fuel injection pump. 16. Removing water and deposits from diesel filter. Maintenance interval 10 hours. Place the main gear level at the middle place. Place the left and right brake pedals at the parking brake position after interlocking. Place the manual accelerator at the lowest position. Shut down the engine after 1 to 2 minutes idle operation. Open the drain outlet of the fuel filter. Discharge the accumulated water and deposits to a container. Tighten the drain outlet once the clean fuel is discharged. 17. Replacing fuel filter. Maintenance interval 100H. Thoroughly clean the fuel filter in its surroundings. Remove the diesel filter. Check whether the filter base is clean, and clean it if necessary. 
Thoroughly check the sealing ring of the filter base and replace it if necessary. Replace with new diesel filter. Add clean diesel to the diesel filter and apply some lubricating oil on the sealing ring of the diesel filter. Install the diesel filter within 15 minutes after applying the lubricating oil. Install the new filter cartridge to the fixed base, and then tighten one half minus three quarters turn and prevent the locking ring being fastened too tightly. Otherwise will cause damage to the thread and sealing ring. Exhaust the fuel system. 18. Maintenance of engine. Maintain the engine after 1000 HUs. Maintenance methods are shown as below. Check whether the mounting bolt of the engine is fixed. Conductor insulation is damaged and conductor connection is proper and reliable. Check the commuter and electric brush upon 1000 H operation of the tractor. If the commuter surface is subject to serious ablation, polish with fine sandpaper and replace it in case of excessive wearing or cracking for electric brush. Apply the lubricating oil on the sleeve and other moving parts. One. Adjustment on free stroke of clutch pedal. For adjustment and maintenance of TB series tractor clutch, take adjustment and maintenance of flat plate double acting clutch, dependent operation, as an example. Adjustment on free stroke of clutch pedal. Free stroke of clutch pedal 20 to 25 millimeters. Adjustment method. Loosen the lock nut on the clutch pull rod. Turn the lever and change the pull rod length to keep the free stroke of the pedal at 25 to 35 millimeters. Fasten the lock nut on the pull rod. Total stroke of clutch pedal 185 to 195 millimeters. 2. Adjustment on working stroke of brake pedal. For adjustment of TB series tractor brake, take flat plate brake as an example. Working stroke of brake pedal 100 to 130 millimeters. Stroke of parking brake handle 220 to 250 millimeters. Wearing of brake friction plate, if any, will lead to increase in working stroke of brake pedal and poor braking. Therefore, it is necessary to make adjustment, loosen the lock nut, adjust the connecting rod too, to ensure that the working stroke of brake pedal reaches 100 to 130 millimeters, and the working stroke of left and right pedal is basically consistent. Tighten the nut after adjustment, loosen the lock nut, change the thread engagement length at the guy end. To control working stroke of the manual braking handle within 140 to 150 millimeters. When the braking distance of left and right wheels is different, it is necessary to adjust the left and right adjustment pulling rod and guy. 3. Toe and check end adjustment. If the tractor operates for 500 hour, or the front wheel is subject to all these shaking and such tire is subject to excessive wear. Check front wheel toe in. The correct toe in is 4 to 10 mm. Make adjustment if beyond the scope according to the following. Park the tractor on the level ground. Turn the steering wheel to the middle position. To keep two wheels in straight driving condition and then loosen the left and right lock nut on the tie rod and turn the tie rod. Measure the distance at the front and rear ends at the same height of front wheel axle and at the middle of tire width. Thus the difference being BA equals 4 to 10 mm. Tighten the left and right lock nuts after adjustment. 4. Adjustment of lifting system. 1. Adjustment on lifting heights. 
Lift the locating sleeve on the limiting push rod at the right axle end to adjust the height. Loosen nuts 1 and 2. Move the locating sleeve backward to provide obvious lifting height. And vice versa. 2. Adjustment on descending heights. Descending height is dependent on locating value and locating clamp stop block on the oil cylinder. The lower the stop block sits, the smaller the descending height becomes. And vice versa.